Developing teachers to improve lesson plans with the use of technology is what we are presenting today. Today, we will be learning about, our objectives is that teachers will be able to use their technology on a daily basis and the benefits of the technology and how it, it is being incorporated in blended instruction in our everyday lives and in, in the classroom. And the benefits and the collaboration that teachers um, have with the students is what our objectives are today. Why the use of technology in the classroom? Well, there's the fundamental structures that can be integrated to achieve significant improvements in productivity in the classroom to support both teaching and learning and also to um, be able to get your students engaged in something that today's society is accustomed to using on a daily basis, which is technology. We use technology everywhere we go, whether it's in the car, in the classroom, at home, on TV, with the smart TVs. Um, also, technology has the power to transform teaching by uh, ushering in a new model connecting teaching. This model leads teachers and students to and to a professional content resources and systems to help them improve their own instructions and personalization learning. All right, as mentioned by James Morris, now this is a quote that I fell in love with. It says, our students are entering a world where 60% of the jobs will require technology competency, sorry, a world in which they must continue to update occupational and technolo technology skills in order to be successful in their career. Evidence-based technology. Using Blackboard. At the school where I'm currently at, the use of Blackboard is a great tool that teachers are utilizing to be able to communicate not only with their students virtually, but also with parents. The use of Blackboard, when it, it's a course that manages a system that allows you to provide content um, to students in a central location, communication with students. It also, it mirrors what's on your computer. So I could have a virtual, um, they could see my face and I could sh uh, share with them my screen and do my lesson with them and the students are able to see exactly what I'm teaching them along with seeing my face right next to it um, as we are doing like a presentation uh, for today. Um, students are able to have discussion boards, they're able to be broken up into groups, they're able to chat with the teacher verbally with the camera or in a chat setting space. They're able, they're able to upload their assignments through this system they're able to also um, okay, and they're able. They're, it has a lot of web built built-in systems in it within the system. Okay, so that's one use of technology, of evidence-based. The next one is with Ingenuity. Now, Ingenuity is a program where the system is also a teacher, just like myself right now, teaching via PowerPoint and also mirroring with their computer what they are doing. It, it, it is use, utilized for students to always go back and be able to pause the lesson, review the lesson, go back to the lesson, for example, if there was something in this lesson that someone didn't understand and need a little clarity, they go back to the part that they don't understand, they play that part again, and they move on. Then Ingenuity also gives you examples, play-by-play -play of every single scenario that you must do as far as an assignment. Students are also able to communicate with their teachers with the use of Ingenuity. They're able to email them and submit um, assignments and another great thing for especially us teachers is that it grades itself so students do the work through ingenuity and I want to say about 80% of their work is graded automatically you have some that are 
probably about 20% that is graded, teacher graded. So you're also able to modify some assignments that you say, you know what, this is a great program, but I'm not gonna utilize this, but I do like this program. And you're able to move certain things. For example, let's say you were doing a lesson in math. You want, you already have covered um, addition with the students. You don't wanna reteach that. So you wanna skip out of there and have the students go directly to subtraction. You're able to do that and be able to um, move that around with the students. Also, another platform that I really enjoy, and we normally, even as staff members, when we have our uh, professional developments now because they are virtually, we use Teams. Now, Teams brings uh, together conversations, meetings, files. You're able to upload videos there. You're able to record uh, whatever the meeting is about. You're able to communicate with parents. You're able to communicate with students. And it's also a great platform as well like Blackboard that you're able to have video chat with um, students and parents, especially for meetings. It's a great tool to be used. Um, it's rich uh, collaboration and seamless experience with integrated apps from Office 365. So if you're familiar with Office 365, to utilize Teams, it's very easy. Also, it gives you a tutorial when you first begin. At any time, if there's things that you wanna learn or how to send an invite for someone to be part of the video, you're able to do that. Alrighty. Now, Sierra Linda's um, high school mission statement is together with students and parents, we will provide a safe and meaningful learning environment that allows students to dream, believe, strive, and achieve. Our mission statement is aligned with the use of technology that we currently use because we are dreaming. We do believe in the system and it does help our students achieve for future. Like mentioned by Mr. Morris, that 60% of jobs nowadays, technology is the main um, app that is being used. So it aligns with our mission statement. However, this year, this is our old um, vision uh, statement. Our students will take action to impact the world by working together as problem solvers, innovators, cr critical thinkers, uh, strategic, strategic areas, college, career, and life-ready communication in partnership with creating a highly effective workforce. This was our uh, vision from last year. However, I am part of the team that we are currently working on today's uh, vision that it incorporates what technology is being used as a catalyst learning in the classroom. And that's it, that's your presentation. Thank you.